just three weeks after buffing it, RuneScape just absolutely eviscerated the Ring of Death. On January 9th, when the Ring of Death was initially buffed, it really changed the game. Every single PVM meta was absolutely shattered because you could throw on a Ring of Death and tank just about every large hit or insta-kill in the game. This was fantastic for less experienced players as it gave you a lot more breathing room to learn tough mechanics. And in the end game, maybe not so much, but I think at this point people had sort of started to get used to it. There were also some bugs related to the Ring of Death that were fixed in this update that I think are really good. So the first thing on this list is the Ring of Death's cooldown is no longer removed during certain boss phase changes. And I think most people can agree that is a good thing. How it previously worked is you could Ring of Death proc every single Virago phase, and the second you drop down to the next phase, it would be off cooldown and available once again. Same thing with Zamorak. You could Ring of Death on P6, and the second you enter P7, it would be available again. That's clearly a bug, and it's good that that was fixed. But now, we're going to get into some of the craziest changes that I've ever seen on a RuneScape item in history. I'm not even kidding, I don't think I've ever seen an item be eviscerated in this way. So the first thing they did here is they clarified insta-kill mechanics, which I think is a really good thing because previously in the game, they had full insta-kills, soft insta-kills, and then just really big hits. And sometimes it was difficult to differentiate the three. Even in the comments of my last Ring of Death video, I had a lot of people saying, is it gonna work on this? Is it gonna work on that? And I'm glad they've clarified it. A good example of a hard insta-kill would be letting Solak's mind die on phase four. You can't sign and then continue the fight through that. The fight just ends. An example of a soft insta-kill would be the Telos phase five insta-kill. Because if you have a sign of life, it will proc and you'll be allowed to continue the fight. So that's just a clarification. It's not really related to the Ring of Death. But now we get into the absolute insanity of today's update. The starting damage value will now be 20% of the killing blow within the range of 150 to 2,000. A soft insta-kill will automatically start at 2,000. So you can survive the mechanic, but it will still be tough to survive long enough for the kill. The timer will now last until either you die or return to a safe area, allowing higher level players to survive longer, but not indefinitely. So this is a clip from my last Ring of Death video of what happened to the green at Calfight King. And as you can see here, I tank the green with my Ring of Death, and I'm being hit 200 damage. Um, cuts to the next clip. And now I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now in the live game. I'm hit by the green, and now I'm taking 1200 damage that ramps up towards 2000. <laughs> I use Reflect, it doesn't get reduced, and I'm dead. So yeah, that is a significant, significant difference and it's pretty much untankable for the whole length of time. So if you're gonna proc a ring of death, you'd better be like 10 seconds from finishing the kill because the damage you take after is probably worse than whatever hit you used it to tank. So that basically kills every single practical use of the ring of death for a non like entry level learning PVM player. You don't really wanna use it to tank a large hit because you're gonna die shortly after. At the same time, if you are learning lower tier bosses, it's probably still relatively safe to use and probably very effective as well, very similar to what it would have been before. So long as whatever kills you is a tiny hit, you'll be fine. But for 90% of the player base and for almost every application, the Ring of Death is now dead in the water and we're not even done yet. The final point on screen is that following these changes, the sign of life will now take priority over the Ring of Death and be the first to activate. So prior to this, the Ring of Death would proc first because it was the stronger, more useful, more beneficial ability in most cases. And now, well, that's just no longer the case. It is way, way better to sign to a large hit than it would be to proc your Ring of Death. So anyway, that concludes that they're done to the Ring of Death. They've made an absolutely massive change to it, and I'm a little bit bummed. I made one of these on my Hard Iron Man, and although it probably was very overpowered that it worked, I now have absolutely zero uses for it. So RIP to my Reaper points. At the same time, when I'm looking at the grand scheme of the game, I do think it was too strong, but I think fixing it in this way or changing it in this way is not the avenue I would have gone down. The reason for that is prior to this, you'd have to make a decision. It's do I wanna continue the kill with some damage ramping up or do I wanna teleport out? And now if you're gonna have a ring of death on, the second it activates, you're just gonna tell you no matter what. So to me, this is actually less good for learning PVMing and it's less good for beginner players or players that are trying to master a new boss. So yeah, I'm gonna pass the question off to you guys. What do you think? I have never seen anything like this. And, and my overarching thought on this more than anything else is it really just feels like this wasn't tested enough. 
they've completely changed everything about how this was used. And that makes me feel like it wasn't tested nearly enough prior to release. It's very evident that they did not intend for players to use it on big hits. But the second it came out, that's immediately what everybody started to do, because that's what it would be best for. So anyway, at the end of the day, I'm glad they're changing it relatively quickly. I'm glad we don't have to wait a year for this one. But at the same time, I think this whole situation could have been easily avoided with better playtesting, with consulting endgame players and newer players alike before coming out with this update. So anyway, thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate it, and we'll see you very soon for the next one.